All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to uh, another episode of the Connect English uh, free pronunciation class live on Facebook and, of course, live for all of the students who are here in class today in San Diego, California. Um, I want to say hello to um, everybody who's watching all around the world. I want to say hello to my friend Diana who's watching in Hawaii right now. Thank you for watching. Um, my name is Nick. I am from California. I was born in Northern California. Now I teach English in Southern California. I'm also one of the directors of Connect English. My favorite class to teach is pronunciation. So thank you for being here today to watch my favorite class. We have a really good group of students today from all different countries. We've got Emma from Japan. Yes. We have Jose from Chile. Yes. We have Vitor from Brazil. Yes. Uh, uh, Mariko from Japan. Yes. Henan from Brazil, yeah. Thaisa from Brazil, Martina from Italy, and Jerry from China. So it's a great mix of all different countries here today, which means we're going to hear a lot of different accents and a lot of different challenges with the pronunciation of the vocabulary today. So uh, if you're watching from around the world, I'd like you to please type in the comments. Type in the comments where you're watching from. Say, you know, hello from uh, Taipei, Taiwan. Uh, hello from... Veracruz, Mexico. Hello from uh, Mar del Plata, Argentina. Hello from Vladivostok, Russia. Type it in. We love to hear all of these countries where our students are learning with us from all around the world. It's really cool. So, Mariko, how many students are watching? How many people are watching right now? What's the number? 22. 22. I'm sure we'll have more students pretty soon. So, thank you for the update. Okay. So, if you're watching around the world on Facebook, please share the video also. It's totally free. Click the share button on Facebook and put it onto your profile so that your friends can also learn from Connect English for totally free. It's a free class that's going to help you be a more clear English speaker. So before we do the pronunciation class, I have two rules that I want to review with you. Two rules. One of the rules is, first, Jerry, can you tell us what rule number one is? No cross arms. Yeah, do not cross your arms. So Vito, I'm going to cross them, okay? And Mariko, you're getting close, but, okay, uncross your arms, okay, because I want you to be able to feel the good pronunciation, okay. Oh, la, la, la. And when students have their arms crossed, they often don't participate as much. They go, and I want you to be, ah, ooh, oh, today in the pronunciation class. So feeling it is important, okay. Rule number two is don't worry about mistakes. You're going to make mistakes, okay? Even Jerry, an excellent speaker, makes a mistake from time to time, okay? And uh, so it's okay to make those in here whenever you make a mistake. Your mistake is an opportunity for you to learn and for your classmates to learn as well, okay? So don't worry about making mistakes in here. It's a fresh, comfortable place for your mistakes to happen. It's okay. All right, so... I've got 10 vocabulary words up here today, 10 words that are in pronunciation class for a certain reason. Thaisa, why do you think I chose these 10 words? Why these? Animals. You can miss some more animals, okay, but why these 10 right here? Martina, do you have an option or a reason why I chose these 10 words? That's great, exactly. Some students say they're the same, but they're actually similar, okay? For some students, they say they sound exactly the same to me, and that's natural for you to say they sound the same. That's because in your native language, you have been listening to Portuguese, you've been listening to Japanese, to Spanish for your whole life, and your ears are trained so that you can't hear some of the differences. So that's why it's super important in today's pronunciation class to feel the differences, the all, oh, the ah, uh, uh, ooh, 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 okay, of these words. When you feel the differences, you'll pronounce them even better, okay? So think about how it feels. If you focus on your ears a lot, you're going to say, I don't hear it, I don't hear it, and that's okay. But focus on the oh, ooh, uh, how it feels, the physical feelings, and that's how you can improve over these difficulties with these. So, let's get started. <sighs> First one are two things that we might see in a lake or in the water somewhere, so we can have a lot of confusion if we're not careful with how we pronounce these first two words, okay? So, 
The first one here, uh, let's start with the easy one. This is a structure that goes into the water. If you want to get into a boat, for example, or if you want to go fishing, you will walk out onto one of these things. Where do we see these in San Diego? Do you guys know where there are any docks in San Diego? Pacific Beach. Pacific Beach. There are a couple docks down there that you can go to. It's called the pier. Uh, some of the, there's the pier at Crystal Pier, but there are also some docks that you can go to where you can put your boat, you know, where you can take your boat, load your ice chest into the boat, and then take your boat out onto Mission Bay. There are some docks out there, so good example. Uh, San Diego Bay also has some docks, and that's a really important point, uh, Emma, the, the idea of a pier, which is the giant uh, structure that goes out over the ocean for fishing, etc., but this is a smaller one just for parking your boat for a little while and loading up supplies. That is a dock. For that one, everyone please put up one finger, okay? Everybody put up one finger, please. Mariko, you too, put up one and touch right here. That is ah, 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 ah. The sound comes from the back and the middle of your throat. Ah, like stop, ah. officer, ah. clock, ah, ah, ah. ah. Hanan was asking ah. about the, sh the store Ross. Ross, dress for less. A great place to get excellent clothing is at Ross. I got it at Ross. Okay? That's ah. Oh. Like when you get into a jacuzzi, a hot tub at first, it's ah. Oh. Okay? That's dock. Okay? The sound is all right here in the middle back of your throat. Okay? Dock. But this one, the little bird, well, no, it's a medium sized bird. It lives on the water as well. One of my favorite animals. Okay? This one also could be on a lake or on a bay, so you have to be very careful about your pronunciation. But for this one, it's got the uh sound, so I need everybody to put up a fist. Okay, put your fist up. Thaisa, you too. And I want you to, now, Thaisa, don't stab yourself, okay, <laughs> <laughs> with the pen, but it's duck. 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 Okay, hit your stomach, duck. duck. Victor, give it to duck. me. Duck. Duck. That's really good. I heard the pressure. That was perfect, dude. Jose, give it a try. Duck. Duck. That's good, and I saw your head move because you're putting the pressure. Duck. Okay. If you say, oh, I saw a dock on the water, and, and, and uh, your friends will say, oh, cool, there were some boats at the dock. It's, it's, um, the dock was going quack, quack, quack. Oh, you saw a duck on the water, not a dock. You saw a duck. And in San Diego, you see a lot of docks, but you see more ducks in San Diego. Really, everywhere there's water, you will see ducks in San Diego. Okay. So we have to be very careful with the pronunciation because we can cause confusion with our friends. Oh, I, I was down at the bay and I saw some docks. And your friends will say, oh, that's cool. You say, I fed the docks some bread. Like, docks eat? What do docks, oh, you fed the ducks some bread. Ugh, okay. So that pressure in your stomach is important. Hang on, give it a try. Give me duck. Good, and now give me dock. Uh, yeah, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yeah. So Martina, try it for me. Give me first dock. Yeah, and now give me the pressure. Duck! Duck! Yeah, did you see her move when she did it? That's because she's putting the pressure. Feel that pressure today. That's very important for the difference between dock and duck. Uh, 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 and ah, ah, ah. If you're watching at home, make sure that you're feeling the pressure in your stomach. Duck! Okay, and dock. Let's do it as a class. The easy one together. One, two, three, dock. Dock. And one, two, three, duck! Yeah. Oh, good, Mariko, I see you doing the head movement. That means you're putting the pressure. Very important. Okay, the next one is one of the most common difficulties of pronunciation, one of the most normal difficulties. Hendon was also asking me about this today. He had some great pronunciation questions. This one is to touch something or to sense something, to feel, okay? Hmm. My arm feels soft, okay? Or I feel sick because I ate some bad seafood. I feel... This one, everybody, please, if we imagine our front teeth, like this, okay, right here, and you've got the top of your mouth, and and you have your tongue right here. This one is feel, okay? Feel. So your tongue is high in your mouth, and this is a very natural sound in Japanese, in Chinese, in Portuguese, in Italian. It's the e sound. So Jose, give it a try for me. Give me feel. Feel. Yeah, very natural, very easy. Feel. Emma, you got it. Feel. Hi, Tom. Martina, try it for me. Feel. Feel. Yeah, I feel sick. Okay, I feel sad because of what happened in um, in London recently. I feel that way. I feel sad. E e e. High tongue, not much air. E e e. 
So if you think about your tongue and you close your eyes for that one, there's just a little bit of air. Think about your tongue touching the top of your mouth. And that sound exists in so many languages, so that's very easy. But this one does not exist in a lot of languages. This is when you're going to put some water in here so you can drink it. This one is to fill. Okay? It's a hard sound, so think about your tongue. Again, think about your teeth. Okay? Think about the top of your mouth. But your tongue is now low, and you have to breathe out. Fill. You're doing it. Emma, you're doing it really well. Fill. You gotta open up. And you gotta put your tongue down and breathe out. Fill. Fill. So you have to think about the physical shape of your mouth. Eh, eh, eh. Let me show the camera here. This one is fill. Fill. See that my tongue is low in my mouth. Eh, eh, eh. Dito, give it a try. Fill. Fill. Very good. That was super good. First try, perfect. Okay? Nice job. I saw that your tongue was low and that you were breathing out when you did it. That was so good, man. Thaisa, your turn for fill. Fill. Good. And Mariko, give it a try. Fill. Fill. Yeah, yeah. Fill. That's perfect. Okay? Now you're doing it exaggerated, big, but that's good in class. We want to really feel the difference today. And uh, 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 fill. I want it to be, I want you to, know, to think about your tongue being low. Eh, eh, eh. And maybe you still don't hear the difference. You say, feel, feel. I don't hear it. That's okay. Because the eh does not exist in Portuguese. It does not exist in Japanese. It's a new sound for your ears. So because you can't <coughs> hear it yet, maybe, you have to focus on how your tongue sits. Eh, 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 feel. Mariko, you did it very well. Martina, your turn for low tongue, breathe out, feel. Very good. I heard the low tongue and the breathing out. Jerry, you got this. Give me yeah. fill. Fill. Good. And Jose, your turn. Fill. Fill. Good. And Henan, your turn. Fill. Fill. And ha Emma, your turn. Fill. Fill. Good. If we get lazy, okay, which happens, we all do it sometimes, long day, we're going to accidentally say, excuse me, where can I feel my water bottle? Where can I feel it? And you say, anywhere. Just use your fingers, okay, to feel your water bottle. And, oh, you meant where can I feel? Fill my water bottle, okay? Where can I fill it? If you get lazy, you're going to say, oh, where can I feel my water bottle? Uh, and then people will say, oh, yeah, I mean, I, I, there's no rules that say you can't do it right there. Feel the water bottle anywhere. Fine. Oh, okay, very nice. I'm feeling my water bottle. Oh, I need to fill it. So lower your tongue, breathe out. Phil. Okay? Vitor, one more time. You did it so well. First example. Give us Phil. Phil. And now give us feel. Feel. Very good. I heard the difference and I hope that you can feel the difference also. Very good, man. Jose? It's pretty much the same then. Feel. I mean, fell than fell from. Um, fell. That's fell. fell. I fell with the teeth together. I fell 10 fell. feet and I hurt my leg. Okay, that's uh, uh, uh. Good question, man. That's not a sound we're practicing today, but next week we'll probably include it. Okay, the uh, uh, uh sound. Mm -hmm. But good question, man. It's a new sound for a lot of people. The uh, uh, uh. Also, I fell 10 feet and my leg is hurt now. This one is low tongue, mouth open more. Uh, uh. Teeth separated. Vitor, you're doing it really well. And on one more time, give me feel. Yeah. Good. And now feel. feel. Yeah. yeah, let's do it as a class. Everybody together. One, two, three. High tongue. Feel. Feel. And everybody together, low tongue, breathe out. Feel. Feel. Good job, everybody. I'm proud of you. That's a great start. Okay, this next one is an interesting one. It's not your typical vowel challenges like e, 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 uh, 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 or uh, 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 uh. This is just one that we pronounce strangely in English. This word here, a lot of students want to say comfortable. My couch is very comfortable. And they say four syllables, comfortable. But that is not how we say it in English. We don't say comfortable. We say, I'm going to put it here in, I'll put it in red. Comfortable. Comfortable. We make it three syllables. 
Let me put one, two, and three, okay? Comfortable. Comfortable. Taisa, give it a try as three syllables. Slow way down. Give me comfortable. Comfortable. Uh-oh, I still heard a fourth syllable, a little one in there, but you did a good job. Comfortable. 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 That's it. Good job, Taisa. Good improvement. Martina, your turn for comfortable. You did it. You slowed down and you did it perfectly. That was great. All right. Jose, it's your turn for comfortable. Comfortable. Good job. Good job. Yeah, you didn't add that little mini syllable in the middle. A lot of students accidentally say comfortable and they try to add a mini syllable. Nope. It should be three syllables only. Mariko, your turn for comfortable. Comfortable. That's right. Very good. Jerry, your turn. Comfortable. Comfortable. Uh oh, I heard a fourth mini syllable in there. Comfortable. Comfortable. That's better. Very good. Okay. The problem people have with this is that a lot of cars that have a top that opens are also this. Okay. So if you think about a BMW where the top opens on this BMW car, the car also has very nice seats. So students say, oh, I have a very comfortable car. What? Do you have soft seats or does the top open? Most students would say I have a comfortable car. I have a Honda, a little Honda Fit. It's a comfortable car. Okay, <coughs> the seats feel nice, but the top does not open. This one here is four syllables. Convertible. Okay. We've got the stress on the third, the second syllable. This one is four syllables. So hang on, give it a try. Convertible. Convertible. That's great. All right. Jerry, your turn for convertible. Convertible. Perfect. Jose, your turn. Convertible. Convertible. Perfect. All right. Vitor, your turn. Convertible. Convertible. Yeah. Mariko, your turn. Convertible. Convertible. Perfect. Martina, convertible. Convertible. Yeah. Thaisa, convertible. Convertible. Good. You guys are doing this one perfectly. So keep up the good habit. Okay? It's perfect. Convertible. My car is convertible. It's a Ferrari. So nice. I open the top and I drive through La Jolla in my convertible Ferrari. Okay? But this one really can be any car that just feels nice inside. Okay? A Toyota Camry is a comfortable car. Okay? A Toyota Camry, Honda Civic, um, Chevy Malibu. Those are comfortable cars. Okay? So... Can you think of a car that's not comfortable? A famous one that's not comfortable? Jeep. Like the Jeep trucks, those things are not comfortable. They're just and you can drive through the desert with them, but they're not very comfortable, okay? But most Hondas, most Toyotas are comfortable cars, okay? So Henan, give it another try for me. Give me comfortable, Henan. Comfortable. Good job with the three syllables. Vitor, your turn for comfortable. Comfortable. Good job. Now, Vitor, back to convertible. Convertible. Good job. You're really doing the difference very well. Good work. Mariko, your turn. Give me comfortable. Comfortable. Very nice. <coughs> now, convertible. Convertible. Perfect. Perfect pronunciation. Let's do it as a class, everybody. Let's start with the hard one. And remember, focus on just three syllables. Don't let your natural tendency to do four syllables ruin it. Just three syllables. Let's do it together. One, two, three. Comfortable. 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 Good. Okay. And now back to the easy one. Convertible. Convertible. Good job. Okay. All right. I think we're ready for the next one. I think this one will be easy for us today. Okay. This one here is the hot liquid that we have when it's a cold day. Uh, what are some examples of soup that we, that we would make? Soup. Examples of types of soup. Tomato soup. Tomato, soup. tomato soup is one of my favorites. Chicken noodle is one of my favorites. Ramen, which in Brazil is ramen, right? Yeah. So good. That was our soup. For this one, everybody just has to do a kissing motion. It's... Ooh. Ooh. So for this one, soup. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you're watching around the world. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So do the kissing motion. The... And it's ooh. Soup. Everybody give it a try. Soup. Soup. Yeah, easy. Mariko looked perfect. That was great. You guys are doing a great job. The ooh, ooh, ooh. This is the harder one, though. Okay? Most students can do it right, but I want to focus on the feeling. So one more time, put up that one finger, everybody. Put up one finger and touch right here. Okay? 
For this one, you need to pull your nose and your lip down. Oh, oh, so. Thaisa, you're really doing it perfectly. That's great, okay? Soap. I used some soap because my hands were dirty. Martina, try it for me. Soap. Soap. Very good. I saw your nose and your lip go down, so you're doing it. Jerry, your turn first. Soap. Soap. Very good. Vito, your turn. Soap. Soap. Good. And uh, Mariko, your turn. Soap. Good. I saw the nose and lip do the perfect thing. Hang on. Soap. Soap. Good. And Jose, your turn. Soap. Soap. Good. Everybody's doing the feeling. That's what matters. A lot of students just want to say soap, uh, and they don't care about the feeling. Well, the feeling matters. Oh, oh, oh. I like to call that the itchy nose sound. Imagine you're going to sneeze, uh, uh, and then you don't sneeze. You go, oh, oh, okay, that is so. Okay, and imagine the confusion. We say, oh, it's cold outside. What do you want to eat? And you say, I'll have some soap for dinner. Like, soap for dinner? Oh no, you're gonna get sick if you eat soap. Okay, you're gonna have some soup for dinner. Ooh, ooh, soup. Okay, all right, let's do them as a class because I think this is easy for everybody today. Let's start with this one kissing motion. Soup. One, two, three. Soup. Very good. And then this one, itchy nose, nose down. Everybody did it so well. This one is one, two, three. Soap. Soap. Very good. Easy. You guys are doing great with that one. Fantastic. Okay. This is a new vocabulary word. This is the rope that you use to hang somebody. Okay, hundreds of years ago, this was how you would kill somebody who did a crime or something like that. Now we don't use it anymore. We, it's, it's a bad way to do it. But the word still exists, of course. This is a noose. Noose. It is the rope that is tied that way for okay. And this one, we all know, we watch on Facebook, on Google, or on CNN, that's the news, okay? So this is very important for our Spanish-speaking students. Jose, important for you especially. I want everybody to put up your hand like this, please. Put up your hand. Jerry, you got it, okay? For this one, I want you to touch right here and feel no vibration. Noose. No vibration. But for this one, yes, there is vibration. News. Okay, I'm going to add some Z's down here to help us with this one. News. I was watching the news and I saw a story about an airplane, okay? If you say I was watching the noose, it means you're watching a rope, okay? Like, I was watching the noose? Oh, you were watching the news. So very important, Jose, to think about the vibration for this one. So give it a try for me, Jose, especially news. News. Very good. And now this one, noose. Noose. Very good. I think everybody else is going to be able to do it. This is not really a problem for Portuguese speakers, Chinese speakers, Japanese speakers, Italian speakers. But let's try for Martina. And she's an Italian speaker. Give it a try. Give us news. Noose. Good. The vibration matters. Good. And now give us noose. Noose. Good. No vibration. You got it. It's not difficult for Italians and not difficult for Spanish speakers named Jose from Chile, apparently, because he did it perfectly. <laughs> Okay, let's review them all together before we do an activity with it, okay? Let's start over here with this one. This is the structure that goes into the water for launching a boat. This one is finger up, ah, 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 dock. Good, and now put that fist up, ah, duck. 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 Good, and now high tongue, a little bit of air, feel. Feel. Good, and now this is the hard one, low tongue, breathe out, feel. Good. You guys sound so good. This one, let's start here, the easy one. This is the four syllable one, the car that opens on top. Convertible. Convertible. It has four syllables. This one we say in English with more like three syllables. Comfortable. Comfortable. Good. And what's important about this one also, the stress is on the first syllable too. Comfortable. One more time. Comfortable. Comfortable. Good job. Make sure you're not doing that middle comfortable. We want just three syllables. Comfortable. All right, this one, kissing motion, soup. soup. <laughs> I'm getting so excited, I just spit. Okay, soup, everybody. Soup. 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 Good. And now itchy nose, soap. Soap. Yeah, and now this one here, no vibration, noose. Yes. And with vibration, news. Yes. Okay, you guys sound pretty good. Let's start the activity. Mariko, how many people are watching? What's the number? 19. 
97. 97 people? Wow. Okay, I hope we reach 100 soon. Everybody share the video. We want to reach 100 viewers, please, okay? All right. So, uh, I have a telephone number, everyone. I have a telephone number, and I'm going to give you the number of the Japanese consulate in San Diego, okay? So, if Mariko has any trouble with her passport, she can call this phone number, and they will help her with it. But I'm not going to say the numbers. I'm going to say the words. So if I say comfortable, okay, that is number eight. If I say news, it's number zero, okay? So when I say a word, I want you to please write the number, okay? All right, you got a pen and paper ready, Vitor? Pen or pencil, same with you, Jose. And non, if you got something, piece of paper. Or you can even use your phone and you can type it into your phone if you want to, okay? Just want you to take to record the number as I tell it. You can use the napkin if you want to. Oh yeah, you got to say. Just use your phone. Yeah, you got it. Okay, the phone number of the Japanese consulate in San Diego is. <clears throat> here we go. Noose. Convertible. Convertible again. <clears throat> Eel Comfortable Soup Convertible Okay, I gave just the seven numbers because it is a 619 number, it's a local Taisa, what do you think? What's the phone number of the Japanese consulate in San Diego? 233-6873. That is right. You are correct, Taisa. Nice work. 233-6873. You got it. Very good job for your first time. Very good job for any time, but especially good for your first try. Now I want your phone number, someone else's phone number, okay? I want to get your phone number either um, back in your home country uh, your phone number in San Diego, maybe it's your father's office phone number, any phone number you want to give that you remember. I want you to tell the phone number to the class with good pronunciation, okay? Let's go to Henan first. Henan, let's get any phone number, maybe it's your phone number in Brazil or your office number, anything you want to give. Remember to do it loudly, slowly, and clearly for us, okay? All right, you guys ready? Okay, good luck, Henan. Phil? Comfortable. Feel. Feel. Okay. Well, just one time or two times? Just one time? One time. Okay, cool. Um, look. Uh, comfortable. Soup. News. Sorry. News. <laughs> you want to repeat that one? News. Got it. Okay, cool. Thank you. And soup. Okay. Sounded pretty clear, man. Nice job. Okay, who heard Henan's phone number? Jose, what do you think? What do you think his number is? Oh, I uh, didn't catch them all? Okay, that's okay. We'll get you on the next one, okay? Martina, your turn then. What do you think Henan's phone number is? Six, eight, six, one. I have two differences from that. Was it two differences, Henan? Uh, actually, it's um, 9864 eight, uh, zero, 07. Zero, 07. Ah, so I have one difference from that. Okay, good job, Martina, with listening there. Which and one the, was your difference? My difference was the two and the zero at the end, okay? I thought you said noose. Okay. With no vibration. We needed a little more vibration there for it to be, excuse me, news. So give it a try, Hanan. Give me news. News. There you go. I heard the vibration that time. Good job, man. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Hanan, for the first try. Very good work. Uh, let's go to, uh, why don't we go to Mariko for the next one? Oh, yeah, Mariko. You can't escape, okay? <laughs> So Mariko, let's get your phone number either in Japan or your U.S. number, any number you want to give, okay? Um, and remember to speak it loudly, slowly, and clearly, okay? Okay. Okay, here we go. 
use. Okay. Here. Ah, okay, okay, correcting that one. Okay, good job. News. News. Good. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Jose, what do you think this time? What do you think Mariko's uh, phone number is? It's zero six one seven nine one seven two. I have three differences from that. Yeah. Okay, Jerry, what did you hear, man? Uh, oh, six four seven, six four seven two. I have two differences from that. Thaisa, how about you? What did you hear? Uh, zero six four seven six one seven zero. Mmm, I have two differences from that. So the two and the zero are a challenging one. Okay. So Mariko, what is the number? Let's hear it and let's work on it together. Uh, zero six four seven six one seven two. Okay, I have only one difference, so that sounded pretty good. The difficulty for a lot of people was the zero or the two. Okay, so well, Mariko, I heard a lot of news with no vibration. We want you to use vibration news. So one more time, give me this one. News. Good. I heard the vibration. The news. The news is bad. I've got bad news today, okay? Bad news. Vitor, I think it's your turn now, man. Last phone number of the day. Let's get your number uh, from Brazil, either your home number, your parents' number, any number that you remember. Unfortunately now, most people don't remember their phone number because like, it's all in your cell phone. It's like, I don't know any numbers. What is this, 1991? I don't remember phone numbers anymore. All right, so Vitor, you got one for us? Okay. So speak it loudly, slowly, and clearly, okay? Comfortable. Soup. Invertible. Yeah. Duke. Duke. Comfortable. Feel. Convertible. That's it. Oh, that's it. Okay, nice and short. Okay. Martina, what did you hear? What do you think Vitor's phone number is in Brazil? 873-448-63. That's what I have. 873-448-63. Perfect, dude. Nice job. Yeah, you did a really good job with these two, especially. There were a lot of them in there, and you did them all perfectly, man. Nice job. Okay. Cool. Let's do one last review of them before we finish the class, but we're going to do more class after this for everybody who's staying here. Let's review them together for the, everybody around the world watching. So let's start here with that single finger. Doc. Doc. Good. And now pressure in your stomach. Duck. Duck. Yeah. High tongue, easy sound. Feel. Feel. And now low tongue, new sound. Feel. Feel. Good. And now comfortable. Comfortable. Good job with the three syllables. And now four syllables, convertible. Convertible. Good. All right. And now this one here, this one is what you wash your hands with. This one is the itchy nose. Oh, 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 soap. Soap. And now the, the hot liquid that we eat with chicken and tomatoes. This one is ooh, 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 kissing motion. Soup. 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 Very good. Now this one here, no vibration. Noose. 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 Good. And now with vibration, news. Okay, excellent. All right, let's say our final goodbye to everybody around the world. All right, everybody, thank you for watching the free pronunciation class with Connect English. We're happy that you're watching all around the world. Please share the video with your friends. It's totally free. And uh, if you'd like more information about Connect English, just visit our website, connectenglish.edu, and we'll help you. We'll do our final ceremony. We always do. Everybody put your hand out in front of you like this. Everybody put your hand out. Okay, just one hand. Turn your hand like this and pat yourself on the back. Ah. Okay, everybody's doing it, okay? Everybody pat yourself on the back for me. 
Ah, oh, you got it, Jose. Good job, everybody. All right, so let's say bye world to the whole world now. You guys ready? One, two, three. Bye, bye world. Okay. Thank you for watching, everybody. We'll see you next week with another pronunciation class. Have a great day.